In this tutorial, I'll introduce you to the analytics features available in the Adobe Connect Events module. To get a deeper overview of the Events module and registration capabilities, please see the Events module overview tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to cover just the reports and analytics sections. So just what are analytics in Adobe Connect 9? Well, Adobe Connect 9 enables event organizers to analyze and report on a variety of data, from participant engagement, which helps you understand which elements of your event were least and most effective so that you can improve future events, through to campaign reports that assist you in gauging the success of your event promotions and optimize your activities to generate the most qualified leads. We're going to go over those reports in this tutorial. So let's get started. I'm in the main hub of my Connect account, so I'm going to go up here and click on Event Management. Next, I'm going over here to Shared Events. And now I'm going to slide down here and you'll see the listing of all of my events. I'm going to choose one of them. And then finally, come over here to the right and click on the Reports link. Now I'm viewing the reports and you'll see there are four categories, summary, registration, by answers, and content. So I'm starting in the summary section and let's go over that. At the top is the event information. So you'll see the name of my event and a brief blurb about the event, the start time and the end time. Just under that is the aggregate user data with important information such as the number of people who attended as opposed to the number who registered. Just below that is the user information report. You're going to find this in a variety of places throughout the analytics section because you can always download the report data as a CSV file and then open it in Excel. Finally, down here at the bottom is the conversion funnel. This allows me to track the flow of registrants and determine which ones are qualified leads. I'm going to scroll back up here to the top and go into the registration section. Starting at the top is my set lead qualification criteria. This is rules based. And as I go in here and change the rules or add new ones for my criteria, the reports are dynamically updated. I'm going to scroll down and there again is another opportunity for me to download that report. Next is the campaign report section. Here I can determine which campaign is the most effective and it helps me to optimize my event and plan for future events. Just under that is registration questions. This is where I had set up questions prior to the event for people to answer when they're registering, and I can find out exactly how many of them were answered. Scroll back up to the top again. Click on the By Answers section. I can filter this section by groups if I want to, but here I can determine how many people answered my questions. Now, by default, it's set up for open-ended questions. That's why NA is listed here. But it also supports multiple choice and yes-no questions. So finally, I'm going to go over to the content section. And in the content section is the engagement report. In Adobe Connect 9, there's a new engagement dashboard, so we can really keep track of just how engaged people are during the event. Here in the engagement report, you can see that the attendance is listed in green and the engagement is in purple. So I can find out exactly how engaged people were throughout the entire event. Just below that is the chat and Q&A usage. So I can find out exactly how many chats there were in total, how many public and how many private chats. And down here, the questions, I can determine how many questions were asked and how many were answered. Below that is the file download activity. Here, I can break down by user how many people actually downloaded the files if they were requested during the event and find out exactly who did download them. And under poll activity, if I had polls set up, I can actually go in here and find out just how many people answered the polls. Attendee status usage is next. This is useful because during events in Adobe Connect 9, you can actually use emoticons to indicate whether you agree with something or whether you need someone to slow down or speed up. So this gives me a breakdown of how many emoticons were used throughout the meeting. 
And finally, at the bottom is a listing of all of my participants by name and when they logged in and logged out during the meeting. So that was an overview of the reporting and analytics section inside the events module of Adobe Connect 9.